A fired employee from the Port Authority of Guam has secured a job at the Guam Legislature. Bernadette Stern Menno was one of several employees terminated at the port as a result of an investigation into alleged workmen's compensation and annual leave discrepancies. Several top managers were fired, accused of processing alleged illegal benefits for Menno, who said she slipped and fell in the port bathroom and needed to go off island for surgery. Senator Rory Respicio confirms he hired Menno and that her paperwork is is being processed. In an email to KUAM, the majority leader says Menno has a wealth of experience having worked in both the Guam legislature as chief of staff to former Senator Felix Camacho and then as his director of communication at Adeloup. He added that her experience as port marketing administrator will be a benefit to his office as the legislature begins dialogue with the port on the reset of their modernization program. As reported, the fired port employees believe their terminations were politically motivated. Senator Respicio believes they were targeted politically and were all unjustly terminated. The governor, along with the port's legal counsel, Mike Phillips, who is also a former chair of the Democratic Party of Guam, refutes those allegations. The port's investigation into the allegations of fraud have been forwarded to the AG's office as well as to the U.S. Attorney's office. Meanwhile, the other fired port employees, including Menno, Port Personnel Specialist Francis Ariola, Service Administrator Francine Rocho, Corporate Services Manager Vivian Leon, Controller Jojo Guevara, and Program Coordinator Josette Havalosa, have filed an appeal to their terminations to the Civil Service Commission.